Hey everyone, how's it going? I just finished making this to-do list application using the Vue 3 composition API. If you want to see how it works, I'm going to demonstrate it real quick. You can just simply type something, hit enter, or if you prefer to, you could type something, click the add to-do, and it'll be added to the list. You'll see too, when you finish something, you could click it to check it off. And if it's not done, you could click it again and it'll come back. But let's say you completed all your tasks and you want to make a new list, or maybe you just don't like your list anymore. You could remove all the to-dos, and then you could get started again. That's pretty much the functionality here. If this seems like something that's interesting to build, feel free to stick around. Let's see how we build it using the Vue 3 Composition API. And if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe to see videos just like it every week. The first thing we're going to do here is inside of the terminal, we are going to create our view application. Sorry, I know the window's small, but I'll dictate what I'm doing. First, I'm going to type view space create space the name of my app. For me, that's going to be to do list dash tutorial, but you can name your app whatever you want. This is going to take a minute, and then it's going to ask me if I want to use view 2 or view 3. I'm going to press the down arrow once and then hit enter to select view 3. This is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to skip ahead. Once that's all set, we can open this up in our code editor. Inside the editor, I'm going to open up my terminal by holding control and pressing the tilde button, which is the button to the left of the one, and I'm going to type npm run serve. The next thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of the boilerplate code that comes with this. I'm going to go into the src folder, app.view, and I'm going to delete everything except the basic template, script, and style tag. I'll leave export default for now, but I'm going to get rid of the component. I'm also going to get rid of a few of the files I don't need. I don't need the components folder or file. I don't need any of the assets. Then inside of the template, let's make a div with an ID equal to app container. This is going to be the main parent div for our code. And then I'm going to open it up in a new window. All right, the next thing I want to do is add my style. I'm going to be using this materialized CSS. I'll leave a link in the description. I think it's a really good CSS library. I'm a pretty big fan of it. I love the way it looks. So in the index.html, I'm just going to make a link to it. I'm not going to need the JavaScript that comes with it too for this, but I'm going to be using the CSS to make some basic styling. Back in the app.view file, I'm going to make a header one. We're just going to say to do here or to do list. Then we're going to make an input. We're going to give this the V model equal to new to do. And we're also going to need a button. I'm going to add some classes here just utilizing that library. I'm going to say waves dash effect, waves, dash light, and button. And then I'm going to say add to do with the text inside of the button. And you'll see when it's added, it's nice and stylized. And so is our input, which is exactly what we want. Let's also wrap this inside of a form element. Here we can say at submit equals <clears throat> at submit prevent default equals add to do's which will be a function that we'll make inside of the script I'm going to make a new div I'm going to give it the ID of to do list this is going to contain all of the to do's next I'm going to create what the to do should look like here what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a class. 
but I'm only going to give it a class if the to-do is completed. This is how we'll be able to utilize later in the CSS whether or not we should be showing if it's completed. Inside of this div, let's display our text with double brackets and then say to do period text. I know to do isn't created yet, but we'll be hopping in the script very soon. Let's also put this in the span tag. Hopping into the script, we're going to start this by putting a setup method inside of the export default since we're using the composition API. But we should also add to the top import bracket ref from view. This is going to be how we're going to build reactive components. Now inside setup, let's declare view to do as ref with an empty string. Then what we can say is const initial load data equals, and we're just going to set this equal to an object. <clears throat> this is just going to be the default for when we don't have our cookies all set up. There's no local storage. What we want to say is complete, and this is going to be false. And then the other part of our object is going to be text, which for this, let's say create, to do, list, functionality. Right, because that's the very first thing we have to do. Outside of this, let's say let stored to dos. And then we're going to set that equal to a tenery statement. Let's say local storage git item to dos. <clears throat> so basically, what we're saying here is if there is an item called to dos in local storage, then we want to set it equal to JSON parse. And then we can just copy and paste it because we want that to be the value. If there isn't one, we're going to set it equal to that new default we just made, which is going to be called initial load data. That looks good. The next thing that we can do is say const to do's, and we're going to set that equal to ref, and we're going to pass it the stored to do's. Now let's create our add to do's function. Let's say if the new to do value does not equal a blank space, right? Because we don't want someone to just be able to enter in a whole bunch of blank spaces. That would totally mess up the program. So if that's not true, what we can do here is say to do's value, push, and what we're going to push on here is a new object. Completed is going to be false, and then the text is just going to be the value that we're getting here from the new to-do, which is just what was typed in. Then what we can do is outside of this set new to-do equal to a blank string. Now what we have to do is return all of this. We can return it all at the very end of our setup function. Here we can make a return object and we're just going to give it all of the words that we want to return. It doesn't matter what order you put these in. Back in the template for the individual to do, what we're going to want to do here is give it a v4 value. We can set this v4 equal to parenthesis to do comma index in to do's and then what we have to do is give it the key so outside of these quotes we can say colon key equals index and now we should be able to create to do's and click add to do and awesome this is working perfectly this is exactly how we expected it to work if you wanted a really basic to do app this would be all you have to do it's actually quite simple to build this basic functionality in Vue. That's what makes Vue such an amazing and beautiful framework. Back in the template, we're going to add some HTML to style this. Let's start by giving this span a class name of card-title. And then before that, we're going to create a div. This one is going to have the class 
grow. Then let's create another div. This div here can have a class equal to call s12 m6 and then another div. This div is going to have a class equal to card teal lighten one. And let's make one last div. This one is going to have a class equal to equal to card content and then white text. Now let's close off all of our div tags. And you can see now that these components are styled in a way that is really nice. And it's just a little bit easier on the eyes. While we're here for the initial to do div, let's give it the property of at click, set that equal to completed to do, which will be a function, and we're going to pass the to do. Okay, outside of our to do list, let's add a button. This is going to be for removing everything. Let's give it a class equal to BTN waves dash effect waves dash light red lighten dash two. Inside, let's say remove all to do's. Let's give this an at click value equal to remove to do's, which will be a function that we'll be making in, in the JavaScript. Let's say VF to do's length it does not equal zero right because we don't want to display this if there's no to do's that are being displayed then we can also add a p tag for this we can say vf to do's length equals zero and inside here, we can just put a little error message, just letting the user know that they have to enter in to do's to see the thing. Let's head back to our JavaScript and let's create these new functions. So we have two functions. The first one is remove to do's. The second one is completed to do. Let's also make sure that we're returning these. I believe these are going to be the last values we're going to have to return. Now inside of the completed to do, we can say to do completed equals the inverse of to do complete. I made an error in the template here. I put to do completed. It should be to do complete. Once fixing that, we should be able to inspect the document and see that upon click, we get the class name. And we do. Perfect. That's working exactly how we wanted to. That's awesome. Now let's set up our remove to do's function. In this, we can simply say to do's value splice. And let's pass this function a zero and then the to do's value length. And this should remove all of the to do's. Awesome. That's working exactly how we wanted to. Next up, let's set up our local storage. Let's make a function called update storage. Inside of this function, we can say local storage, set item. We're going to set the to do's equal to JSON stringify to do's value. And then let's call the function. We're going to call this in all of these functions. So completed to do's, remove to do's, and add to do's. They're all going to call this because they're all changing the way that to do's works. We do not have to return this because it's not being used in the template. So we can hop right into our styling. Let's first get to do list. Let's add a margin of 2% and then a padding of 0. Now let's set up the card hover. Let's give it a box shadow of 0, 4 pixel, 8 pixel, 0, and then RB, <coughs> sorry, RGBA 
of 0, 0, 0, 2. Let's see what this looks like. That looks really good. Let's make it so that when we click it, it'll be shown that it's been completed. Let's say to-do list div completed. Now for these, what we're going to do is say opacity 0.5. That looks perfect. Lastly, let's move on to the app container. Let's say app container. And let's give this a padding of 2%, just to add a little bit of spacing, make it look a little better. And that looks pretty good. Let's see full screen, it looks great. Awesome, this is exactly what we want, we're all done. If you followed along and you found this helpful and you enjoyed it, Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see content like this every week. Have a great day. Take it easy.